The 2007 undercounter ice maker has a new electronic control with enhanced diagnostic capabilities. This video will cover the diagnostic entry and step-by-step -step diagnostic tests. To enter the diagnostic program, the control must be in the off position. Turn the ice maker on at the user interface. Within 10 seconds of power on, press and hold the on and clean buttons until all the LEDs begin to flash. Within 5 seconds, press any button to enter the manual diagnostic mode. If no button is pressed, the control will enter the manufacturing diagnostic mode where each component is cycled for 5 seconds. Upon entry of manual diagnostics, all the LEDs will light. After 5 seconds, the control automatically moves to step 2. You may exit diagnostics at any time by holding the on-off button for 3 seconds. The service button is used to advance each step. Step 2 is the bin thermistor test. The on-off LED shows the condition. The LED will be on solid to indicate a good th bin thermistor. Two one-second blinks, followed by a pause, which is repeated, indicates an open bin thermistor. Four one-second blinks indicates a shorted bin thermistor. In step 3, the clean LED is used to display the status of the evaporator thermistor. On solid indicates a good thermistor. In the same manner previously shown, two blinks indicates an open thermistor and four blinks a shorted thermistor. In step 4, the ice maker fills and the water level sensor is tested. When first entered, the reservoir should be empty. The service LED will be blinking to indicate an empty reservoir. The measured fill water valve fills the flush fill volume of 45 ounces. When the water in the reservoir reaches the water level sensor, the service LED stops blinking and stays on solid. The water level sensor may easily be retested by lifting it in and out of the water. At step 5, the recirculation pump operates. At step 6, the reservoir drain pump operates. At step 7, the compressor and condenser fan motor operate to test the sealed system. The on-off and clean LEDs will be lit. A full frost pattern should be visible on the evaporator. When the evaporator thermistor reaches 4.5 degrees Fahrenheit, the service LED will blink on and off. With a normally operating sealed system, it will take six to eight minutes for this to occur. At step eight, the compressor and hot gas solenoid are energized for the final sealed system test. The on-off, service, and clean LEDs will light. When the evaporator thermistor reaches 52 degrees Fahrenheit, the service LED will blink. 
Step 9 is used to check or change the status of the Max Ice feature. It should be set for no delay on all Whirlpool and KitchenAid models. A solid clean LED indicates no delay. If blinking, there will be a 10 minute delay after each harvest. Press the clean button to change the setting. Step 10 allows the technician to change or check the ice thickness setting. The service LED displays the current setting. Two blinks for thin, four blinks for normal, and six blinks for thick. Use the clean button to change the setting. Press the service button a final time to exit diagnostics and turn the ice maker on to resume ice production. This concludes the video training presentation of the 2007 Whirlpool and KitchenAid Undercounter Ice Maker Diagnostics.